Hey guys, welcome back to a Clash Royale video. Now, <clears throat> I have a pretty good video to show you guys today. We have a lot of chests to open, and then I'm going to go out and do maybe one or two battles, and I have an absolutely insane replay to show you guys. Probably going to do that first, so I really want you guys to pay attention and watch this replay, because it was the absolutely insane replay that I did yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, what we're going to do right now is, let's... um. Open all our chests, right? So free chests. With free chests and silver chests, what you want to have is have that little red two. Uh, uh, you want it to be a three, right? So it's not a three right now. That means probably not going to get anything good. And mini pegga and goblins. So that's man, yeah, that's okay. So next one, it's also not a three. So 77 gold, a Valkyrie, and ice spirits. That was, man, that was also okay. So third. Chest, a silver chest, 67 gold, one wizard, and knight. That wizard, that was a good one. I like that. I like the wizard. All right, so 65 gold, one tombstone, and nine minions. That was not good. Now, with the gold chest, let's go ahead and see what we get. 32 cards. We want three rares, right? I'm not sure what the number you want. I feel like it's five, though. So three rares. We need to keep track. We want to get only three rares, nothing more. Because if you get more than three rares, then you're not going to get an epic or a legendary. But if you get only the bare minimum of guaranteed cards, then you're going to get an epic or a legendary. So cannon. All right. So also, ooh, also got a 32, um, 32 uh, cards total in this. So knight. Um, I now like this that we're not getting anything because that's only 16 cards plus it'd be three if we wanted it. So that'd be only be 19. So yeah, we're not gonna get it. 10 skeletons. Skeletons are really the most useless card in the game. They don't really do anything besides cycle, keep your elixir cost low, and barbarian hut. So we did get three rares, but this is not a. It's if you get three rares, it's the not the last card in the game, right? Right in the chest. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to watch this replay, right? This replay is against Track Mat. And this, as you can see on the bottom, I have the Night Witch and Executioner. I mean, okay, first of all, this is this is actually me battling. But this was in the Fireball Challenge that was in, that was going on yesterday. I got two wins, I believe, which wasn't that good. But yeah, so I ran into this guy in Goblin Arena, in the Arena number one. So let's watch this replay. So right now we're both saving up Elixir, and he's going to play, right, who's going to play first? He's going to play his Ice Golem in the middle between the bridge and the tower. I'm going to go ahead and play my Night Witch to uh, take out both of those with the bats and the uh, and, uh, splash damage. The log, that was an anticipatory log that was very nicely played. Um, archers were taken out by the fire spirits. Ice wizard going um, down. I didn't play a lot of hound. Probably wasn't the best play because my night wizard, sorry, night witch is very low on health. But anyway, we should get some good damage off the lava hound on the uh, on the tower. That fireball, I missed the tower, right? I mean, I saw I missed the mega minion. I was going for the mega minion. And now I don't have anything to defend this ice was ice golem hog I pursue. He's gonna take down the tower. That's that's not good. We're not looking good right now. So Mega Minion going down by the Night Witch Tower the Night Witch. We're gonna play the giant ahead of the Night Witch to try and get a nice little push going. He's gonna fireball the Night Witch. Does very good damage on her, but doesn't take her out. So tombs are gonna go down, kind of distract us. Mega Minion behind. It's gonna take out the Night Witch. She's not gonna have a chance. She's gonna go for the tombstone, giant's gonna go down, right? Giant's gonna get on the tower, gonna get it down to 211 damage. Um, now, so what are we going to do? So we're saving up elixir right now, and wait for it, wait for it, and a second now. He's gonna play an ice golem on the left side with the hog out of his famous push. We're gonna play an executioner. Um, this is like his only push with the archers behind. Executor is going to do work because it does target multiple da uh, troops because this splash damage. And it's going to take out the archers. Very nice. Like, we're going to play. Um, I think we're saving it. Yeah, saving because the they're both very low health. We're playing Lava Hat on the right side, trying to get that tower down. He's going to play Mega Minion. 
Um, we're going to do, um, he's going to play Hog Rider on the left. Uh, we're going to play Goblins, I assume. Yep, Goblins are going to take out the Hog Rider. Um, we have Full Elixir now. And then Lava Pups uh, distracting some of the stuff. We're going to zap the tower. So right now it is tied 1-1 one one with 35 seconds left. We're going to play Execution to take out the Mega Minion and the Archer. He's going to Fireball the tower for some reason. Um, now this is where it gets dodgy, right? I realize... That he's, he's not going to win it in regular time. It's going to go to overtime. But he can win this by just fireballing the living daylights out of me. There's go. Another fireball down to 326. Okay, so here we go. We have an executioner going up. We put the giant down, right? Put the giant down. We have the executioner. He puts the tombstone. Not a good play. Executioner takes it all out. Okay? We have Night Witch going down. And then Night Witch coming out. He's going to fireball it again. Gets down to one health. Oh, this is so crazy. Down to one health. I fireball, and that's the game. That is the most crazy battle I've ever done in my life. You know, I didn't even check if that was in, in, in a TV Royale, right? That was literally, literally the best battle I've done in my entire life. Yep, we did not make it to TV Royale. Somehow we did not make a TV Royale with that battle, man. One health on the tower. That was literally insane. Right, um, how does how much damage does my fireball do? Oh shoot, don't want to use it. Um okay, okay, upgrade. No, I don't want to use it. Oh my god. Upgrade. It does 190 damage. So he Right, I believe he would have a level seven fireball. That would be yeah, it must have level seven, because I'll put it at 208 damage. Surely, yeah, level seven fireball. Right, so we're going to go in the battle. I've been using this deck. This deck has been doing fairly solid for me. It, I don't even know how I made it. I just started, I was doing friendly battles with my friend one day, and I made this deck for the friendly battle, and then I actually went in a battle with it, and it did pretty well. I did switch around one card. I believe I added the baby dragon in. For, I forget if I took out the deck, but I did add the baby dragon. Oh, my God. And so we're going to go in a battle, right? Level 7, that's what I like to see. But you can't, you can say, oh, it's level 7, we're going to we're gonna demolish him. Because if he's this high up as a level 7, he has to be at least halfway decent. So, uh, Elixir Pump going down on the right. He's going to also play his Elixir Pump. Right, now, what do we want to do from here, right? What do we want to do? From here, we can play a Valkyrie at the back, try and start a little push going. He might, okay, he's going to play the Knight to try and counter that. It's a decent play, but we then have the Baby Dragon we can play slightly back. And then Goblin Barrel, everything's going to get targeted on the Baby Dragon and stuff. And then the Goblin Barrel is going to do work. So we can play our Elite Barbarians, and then with the help of the Tower, we will then do good defense. So we're going to play our mini hordes, try and get a little push going. He's going to zap it. That was a nice play. Takes it out. So we are down on Elixir, I would assume. Um, let's go ahead and play a witch. Right, so playing a witch, that was nice. Uh, we're not going to play a baby dragon. That musketeer is going to do uh, take the Valkyrie out. He might play something else. Yep, there's the knight. Right, we're going to play a cannon right here. We're then going to play a baby dragon to try and take out this musketeer. Oh gosh, we have the elite barbarians. This is not looking too spectacular. Yep, got to play the elite barbarians because they are going to do work on the tower. Can we get the goblin barrel, right? Can we get the goblin barrel? Let's do that. Baby dragon working. Oh, okay. Which busy all the zap did wonders for him. The zap did wonders. Why would you retarget to the skeletons? You're so dumb. Right, so let's get the Valkyrie ready right now. Looking good. Okay, um, when he's pushing the right side, let's put a little pump on the left side. We can then cannon, and then want to get the elite barbs ready. Ooh, the rage spell. Oh my. This is not good. Not good at all. The Valkyrie should do work. Will the baby drag? Yep, okay, we'll need the Valkyrie. We'll definitely, definitely need the Valkyrie. Come on, take out the Musketeer. Um, all right. Uh, Mini Horde, distract, distract, please. Cannon, come on, come on, cannon, cannon. Yes. 
Come on, come on. Okay, take down. Take the elite barbarian down. Right, we can put our own elite barbarians down. We can then uh, goblin barrel up here. We're okay. It's a very even match. Ooh, goblin barrel's gonna do. Oh, goblin, come on, goblin barrel. Come on, come on, come on. One more. Ah, let's go. Let's go, baby. That's a last second win. We'll give him a good game. That was a very nice match. 27 cups, uh, silver chest, one crown. And that's going to be it for today. I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Um, this actually recorded the same day as yesterday's episode. Sorry for all the notifications. I actually recorded the same day as yesterday's episode. I was just like, you know, I have some time today. Might as well record two episodes. And then I'll give myself the day off tomorrow. Um, this will obviously be uploaded uh, today, obviously. But I recorded this the day before it uploaded. Normally I record videos the day they upload. But this time is different because I wanted to give myself a break. So we decided to do this. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave, like, subscribe. Almost at 2,400 cups. Till next time, peace out.